Hey guys, and welcome back for another short yoga flow. Today's sequence is going to be a variation on our typical sun salutations. You don't need anything at all, just some space on the floor, a mat if you have one, and whenever you're ready, come and join me in Tadasana and we'll begin our warm up. So we're just gonna to begin to warm the body up. So we're just going to um, rotate our wrists and rotate the ankles maybe 10 times in one direction on one leg and then switch over to the other leg. And then when you've done that, just come back to standing, arms by your side, take a nice deep breath in, exhale, and then begin to roll the shoulders back and down. So we're just gonna go for five, Rotations backwards, really hunching those shoulders up into your ears, and then rotate the shoulders forwards. Again, thinking about hunching those shoulders right up into your ears, maybe doing five or so rotations that direction too. From here, we're just going to inhale as we lift our left hand up, exhale as we reach over to the right. Inhale back to center, creating length in the spine, and then exhale as you switch over the arms and reach over to the left. We're going to do this five times each side, inhaling back to center, creating that length, exhaling to reach up and over, finding that side body stretch. We're gonna go for one more each side. And then this time we're going to come into center with our arms out wide and then wrap the arms around us as we exhale to look behind and just let them fall wherever they need to be, twisting each side. Again, we're gonna go for roughly about five or six rotations each side. One more each side. And then come back to center. Inhale as you lift your hands up above your head. Exhale as you come down into your Uttanasana forward fold. This is the first one of the day, so take some, a bend in your knees. Think about drawing your chest over your thighs, crown of the head towards the floor, and if you want to, take ragdoll, holding opposite elbow with opposite hand. And you can swing from side to side, back and forth, whatever you need to do to just loosen up that lower back. Start to open up those hamstrings, those calves. Take one more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then we're just going to step back to down facing dog. In down facing dog, think about pressing through the hands, spreading the fingers, press the crown of the head towards the floor, point the tailbone high towards the sky, maybe take a bend in the knees as you find that length in your spine, and then just gently pedal out the feet. Again, opening up the hamstrings, the calves, mobilizing the hips, the feet, the ankles. And think about creating that space across the upper back. So pull the shoulders apart, let the neck be nice and loose from your shoulders. Take a few more pedals here. And then we're just going to take a vinyasa. So we're going to inhale as we roll forward to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees to chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, push back to down facing dog. From here, we're going to take the left foot, sorry, the right foot outside of the right hand. Lizard lunge, inhale, lift and twist. Exhale, tap the elbow to the floor, plant the hand back down on the mat, and then step back to down facing dog. We're going to do the same on the other side, so left foot to the outside of the left hand. Inhale to lift and twist. Exhale, tap the elbow to the floor, plant the hand back down, step back to down facing dog. We'll take another vinyasa, so inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, low plank on knees, chest chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, push back to down facing dog. We're gonna repeat that sequence. So right foot, right hand. Inhale, lift and twist. Exhale, release, elbow to the floor, plant the hand, step back to down facing dog. Left foot, left hand. Inhale, lift and twist. Exhale, release, elbow to the floor, tap the floor, plant the hand, step back to down facing dog. We'll just pedal out the feet a few more times, maybe for three or so breaths. Finding that length in our spine, opening up those hamstrings again, and then just begin to gently walk the feet in toward the hands. Find your Uttanasana ragdoll position once more, and just take a moment there. 
on opening up the lower back. And then whenever you're ready, inhale to come all the way up, extended to Desna, reaching up tall. Exhale, release and meet me at the front of your mat into Desna. So we're going to begin with our variation on these sun salutation flows. So if you come to the front of your mat and stand into Desna, lift your toes, spread them, press the feet firmly into the ground. Tuck the tailbone under, suck the navel back toward the spine, roll the shoulders back and down and lengthen through the crown of the head. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then on the next inhale, we're going to lift the hands up above the head, reaching up tall. Exhale as we come all the way down into Uttanasana, forward fold. Think about drawing that chest over those thighs, crown of the head towards the floor. Take a nice deep breath in as you find length from the spine. Exhale, fold deeper. And then we're going to do three halfway lifts. So hands go on top of the uh, feet and we're going to slide the hands up the shins as we inhale, finding that flat back tabletop position, squeezing the shoulder blades back and down, eye gaze just in front of you on the floor and then exhale release. So we're going to do that two more times. So inhale to lift, exhale release. Last one, inhale lift, Exhale, release and see if you can fold deeper. Take a nice deep breath in, find length. Exhale, fold deeper again. Plant the hands on the floor. And on the next inhale, we're going to step the left foot all the way back for a high or low lunge. No key's choice. So whatever you feel like today, roll the shoulders back and down. Reach the heart forwards, eye gaze forwards. If you're doing a high lunge, keep that knee off the floor. Use that thigh muscle to lift the leg back. And then we're going to exhale as we step back to down facing dog. And just take a moment there to pedal out the feet. Maybe pulse through the shoulders, whatever you need to do, just for a few breaths. And then as we inhale, we're going to roll forwards to high back. Exhale, low plank on knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. But this time as we exhale, we're going to come all the way back down to our prone position. Take our hands out in front of us, legs back behind, and then we're going to inhale to locust. Shooting the hands up and the chest off the floor, thighs off the floor too. Exhale, release. Plant the hands back under the shoulders, tuck the toes, press back to down facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in as you pedal through the feet, find length in the spine, maybe even pulse through the shoulders again. And then on the next inhale, we're going to step through with the left foot, high or low lunge, yogi's choice. Eye gaze forward to reach the heart through. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, step through to Uttanasana, forward fold. Take one deep breath in as you find length in your spine. Exhale, fold deeper. And then inhale as we come all the way up, extended to Dasana, reaching up tall. Exhale as we go back down for a second round on the other side. So we're going to inhale to halfway lift, squeeze the shoulders back and down. Exhale, release. Two more lifts. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release and fold deeper. On the next inhale, we're going to step the right foot all the way to the back of the mat. High or low lunge, yogi's choice. Take a nice deep breath in as you reach the heart forwards and as you exhale, step back to down facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in as you point the tailbone towards the sky, find length in your spine. Exhale, push those heels towards the floor. And then as you inhale, we're going to roll forward to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, come back down to that prone position on your stomachs. Arms go forwards, legs go back. We're going to inhale to lift to locust, chest and thighs off the floor. Exhale, release, hands back underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, press back as you exhale to down facing dog. Take a moment there just to find your length in your spine again. Reset. Pulse through the shoulders if you want to. Exhale, push the heels towards the floor. And as you inhale, look forward. Right foot steps through. High or low that lunge. Yogi's choice to reach that heart through. Eye gaze forwards. Exhale, come through to Uttanasana, forward fold. Take a nice deep breath in, find length. Exhale, fold down deeper. And then inhale as we come all the way up, extended. Tadasana, exhale, release. 
Inhale again, extend your Tadasana, reaching up tall with the hands. Exhale as you come all the way down into your Uttanasana forward fold. Option now to step or hop back to down facing dog, whichever you prefer. And just take a moment there to pedal out the feet, open up the shoulders. And then on the next inhale, we're going to lift the right leg up high to the sky, three leg down facing dog, look forwards, swing the leg through, plant it between the hands. We're going to come into a high lunge position. So find your steady stance. Think about having train tracks on your mat. The wider your train tracks are, the easier your stance will be. And as we inhale, we're going to lift the hands up above the head, reaching up tall into that nice, strong high lunge position. As we exhale, we're going to come down, tap the knee to the floor. Inhale to lift back up. Exhale, hands to heart, palms together. And as we lean forward and exhale, we're going to bring that left elbow over the right knee and twist into twisted high lunge. Take a nice deep breath in, look over that right shoulder. Exhale, release the hands, throw the foot if you need to, find your steady stance again. Inhale to lift back up into that high lunge. Back foot goes down to 45 degree angle, warrior one. Take a nice deep breath in, reach up tall. Exhale, release the hands, interlace the fingers behind your back. Clasp the hands together and pull the hands away from the um, shoulders so you're opening up your shoulders. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, fold into humble warrior. So bringing your right shoulder to your right knee, folding forwards over that right leg. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the hands. Frame the foot, twizzle the back heel off the floor. Find your high lunge position again and drop the back knee to the floor to come into low lunge. Reach the heart forwards, find a nice deep stretch in your back hip flexor. Exhale, and then on the next inhale, lift the back knee off the floor, straighten the front leg, pyramid pose. Exhale, fold forwards over that front leg. On the next inhale, you're going to keep the left hand planted and then lift and twist with the right hand up towards the ceiling into revolve triangle pose. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the hands. See if you can find your balance over your front leg as you come into a high lunge variation. And we're going to transition into hand to big toe pose. So back leg is going to come up and out in front of you. So tuck it up, stretch it out, and then reach with your left hand, two big fingers. Grab a hold of the toes and extend the leg out in front of you. See if you can do it in one move without putting the foot down. If you need to come standing, reset and try again. You're more than welcome. Hold for three, two, one, and then take that foot, plant it against your ankle, calf, or inner thigh to find tree pose. Hands come to heart, palms together. And again, just hold for three, two, one. Exhale, release the foot. Feet are hip distance apart. Inhale to lift the hands up above the head. Exhale, sit back into chair pose. Hold for three, two, one, inhale to lift, exhale release, and we're going to do that sequence on the other side now, so we're going to inhale as we come all the way up, extended to Dasana, exhale, come down into that Uttanasana forward fold, take a nice deep breath in, yogi's choice to step or hop as you go back to down facing dog, and then from here just take a moment to reset, pedal out the legs, open up the shoulders, before we repeat that sequence on the other side. So we're going to inhale as we lift the left leg up high to the sky this time, three leg down facing dog. Swing the leg through, plant it between the hands, coming into that high lunge position. So remember your steady stance. Eye goes forwards, inhale as you lift the hands up off the floor. Exhale, tap that back knee to the floor. Inhale to lift, exhale, hands come to heart. And then we're leaning forwards, reaching over with that right elbow this time, over the right knee, uh, left knee, and inhaling to lift and twist to look over our left shoulder. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And then inhale as you come back to centre. Lift up the hands, back foot goes down, warrior one. Take a nice deep breath in, squeeze those inner thighs. Exhale, release the hands, interlace the fingers, clasp them together. Pull the shoulders open or the chest open as you reach backwards and push the hands towards the floor. And then as you exhale, fold forwards over that front leg, humble warrior. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands to the floor. Swivel the back heel off the floor, coming back into that high lunge position. 
drop the back knee to the floor, low lunge, take a nice deep breath in, find that stretch and that hip flexor on the right leg this time, and then as we exhale, sorry, exhale, sink deeper, inhale to lift the knee off the floor, straighten the front leg, exhale, pyramid pose, take a nice deep breath, right hand stays grounded, inhale as you lift and twist with the left hand, up toward the ceiling, triangle pose, or revolved triangle pose. Take a nice deep breath in. Get ready for your balance, and we're going to inhale as we release the hand down. Try and keep it lifted though. Find your balance over that front left leg, and then we're going to come all the way up. Extended Shasana, grab a hold of that right toe with your two big fingers, or you can stay in this tuck position if you want to. Extend the leg out in front of you, hold for three, two, one, and then come into tree pose. So ankle can, uh, foot can go on ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Palms come together at the heart. Hold for three, two, one. Exhale, release. Step the feet um, to hip distance apart. Inhale as you lift the hands up above the head. Exhale, sit back into chair pose. Hold for three, two, one, inhale as you lift, heel toe your feet out to the edges of the mat, find your squat stance, pass together at the top, exhale as you come down into your garland pose, take a nice deep breath in, find that chest, pull that chest through those legs, using your elbows against your knees, tailbone to the floor, eye gaze forwards, exhale, release the hands, and we're going to come down now into a seated position to finish our practice, so Come into a seated position on your mat, legs stretched out in front of you, toes flexed back. Inhale as you lift and reach with your hands up above the head. Exhale as you fold forwards over those legs, drawing your chest over the thighs, head towards the knees. Just take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, two more deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, and then inhale as you come all the way up. Take the left sole of the foot and plant it on the other side of the right knee on the floor. You're then going to take your right arm and hook it around your left knee. So you're bringing your chest in towards your thigh. We're coming into half lord of the fishes. So inhale to lift and open. Exhale as you look over your left shoulder and twist to look behind you. Take three deep breaths. And then exhale and unravel yourself and switch sides. So right leg comes over, left leg, left leg goes long, right sole of the foot is on the floor on the opposite side of the left knee. Hook that elbow around that right knee. Inhale to lift, exhale to reach and look, sorry, twist and look behind you over your right shoulder. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, two more deep breaths, just like that. And then as you exhale on that final one, unravel yourself, unravel your legs, slide your bum down towards your heels, come onto your backs and bring your knees in towards your chest. Hug them with both arms, maybe rock from side to side, massage your lower back. Take a hold of your left knee, exhale as you extend your right leg all the way to the floor, inhale as you pull that left knee in towards your chest. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Inhale to bring your right leg all the way back up, exhale, switch over your hands, exhale as you extend your left leg all the way to the floor, inhale to pull that right knee in towards your chest, take a nice deep breath in, exhale, and then inhale as you bring both knees back up to centre, plant the toes on the floor, keep the heels lifted, hands go out to the side, palms facing down, shoulders are glued to the floor and we're just going to drop the knees from side to side for a quick stretch off of the lower back and spine, maybe five or six drops on each side. One more each side 
and then slowly bring the knees all the way back into centre, hug them again with both arms, give your back one last little massage and then whenever you're ready, roll up and come to seated. We'll take one final deep breath all the way in as we lift our hands up above our head, palms together as we exhale, bring our hands to the forehead. Kind thoughts to the lips, kind words to the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.